I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain. Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome to my bedroom floor because it's the only corner of my room that isn't a complete mess and I've shoved everything behind the camera. This is not my usual setup, so I'm very much not used to talking to the camera. Please bear with me. If you're on my channel normally, I'm usually singing or it's a short film when I'm not even in it or I'm like screaming. So this, this is new for all of us. Um, yeah, today, as you can tell by the title, I wanted to show you all of the stuff that I got from YesStyle. Before we get into the haul, I do want to mention a couple things. First off, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I did spend my own money on this. If you guys wanted to join me in ordering, I do have a discount code that I will leave at the bottom of the screen. This feels weird to do with my hands. I know everyone does it, but this is pre-editing me. I haven't put text in here yet. All of the prices I'm mentioning in the video are in Canadian dollars. As for my sizing, I'm 5'5", five five, or 165 centimeters tall, I believe. My bra size is a 34A, or 32B, and my waist size is a 26. Also, one more thing I did want to mention was that all of the stuff that I accumulated in the haul is like things that I've accumulated over time, and I've worn a few times, I've seen them kind of age, I've seen how they like, I guess, hold up, and all of these stuff have been washed before, so it's truly like tried and tested. And I did just want to give you like a good idea of what you're getting for your money. So without further ado, let's get started because I have done too much talking and I have too many clothes. So the very first thing that I got from YesStyle is this just plain plaid skirt. I thought it would be a really cute basic to pair with just like a little crop top or like a sweater. I don't know. This was a lot thicker than I expected. The waistband is not stretchy at all, but it's like a very nice firm material. I actually, I think I went to Aritzia and like the, the skirts that they had, they felt exactly the same. And this was like, what, a fraction of the price. So on the inside, there is a black lining, not see-through whatsoever. There's an invisible zipper on the side, very easy to get on. I believe I ordered this in a medium. And usually I'm like a small, extra small in pants, so you do want to size up because YesStyle does have Asian sizing and people in Asia do be little, so fair warning. But yeah, very cute skirt. After a couple times I wore it though, I think the lining did rip, but I don't mind it that much because it's on the inside, you can't really tell. Next. Been to the second thing I got from YesStyle was this super cute white blouse. I actually originally saw it on an Instagram page called like Hey Hagia. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced her name by the way, but her feet is beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, she has all these like high fashion clothing and like when I click on it, I really can't afford it, but I think this is a dupe of that one. I think it's a remake, but it's a pretty good remake if I do say so myself for the price that it is. It's an off the shoulder top. It crosses in the front so you can like pull it down, pull it up, make it shorter, make it longer. Um, the sleeves kind of puff out at the end and then cinch back in and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Um, I've worn it twice so far. I've worn it out to a picnic with my friends and I think I did something and I don't know if you can see but she, the sleeve, she's coming off but I'm honestly not mad. Nothing you can fix without a needle and thread. This top I got it in a, it was one size but it is very stretchy like I'll show you right now very stretchy so i think it'll fit like probably like a small to maybe a large in american sizing very satisfied with this i probably will get it in other colors because i was like debating between the pink and the white so we will see but overall very cute top the third thing i got from yesel was this gingham pleated skirt um, I've adopted a gingham obsession from Best Dressed. I think gingham looks so good on her, so like I have just been wanting to collect a bunch of stuff with this pattern. I like squeal every time I see it. Look at her. Look at the bottom, it's so cute. It actually is a very nice, sturdy material. However, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but she's definitely a little bit see-through. So I would wear like a nude underwear, maybe a white one. It doesn't have undershorts. Because of the ruffles, like you'll see in the try-on clip, in the bottom it like ruffles outwards. So I'm always worried that people will be able to look up my skirt. So I'm always worried about like bending over and stuff like that. But nothing you can't fix with a pair of shorts underneath. So the third thing I got from YesStyle is this top. I'm sure like everyone who orders on YesStyle gets this top, but it's so freaking cute. It's so worth it. 
So it's a v-neck top. It cinches in the middle and obviously like I cinched it a little bit too much but you can like adjust it so if you make it looser the shirt is longer, if you make it tighter the shirt is shorter. But the material is kind of like thick t-shirt to thin sweater somewhere in that line. My only complaint is that I find the sleeves are a bit short and these drawstrings do hang a bit long but honestly like it's a really good material for what you're paying. No rips so far and I've literally worn this like I kid you not you can ask my friends at school I wear this like probably at least once a week. I think honestly this is one of my like favorite things because it's like a very cute basic and it's not too much you feel? It's black and white I'm up in a the next thing that I got from YesStyle is obviously the top that I'm wearing. I forgot to mention it first somehow, but here we are. So there's very cute buttons down the middle. I find that it's a bit short, so I had to safety pin it on the bottom for like when I wear it to school or to work and stuff like that because I don't want to be like too promiscuous and break the dress codes, but I do think it's a super cute top. The reason that I got this is not surprising whatsoever. I saw it on Jenny from Blackpink and I like needed it. So I got it in almond. Um, it's a one size, but it's ribbed, which means it's very, very stretchy. There's a couple loose threads, but honestly, like I don't mind. You can always snip it off and like for what you're paying, it's a really good price. I've seen these all over Instagram and like, I feel like the YesStyle one is one of the safest options that is also the most affordable because like, all of the ones on the Instagram boutiques are like really expensive and then all the cheaper ones are like from really sketchy sites so I settled on the YesStyle one and I do not regret. I'm very happy with this purchase. I love it. Next! The next thing I got is this pair of nude boy shorts. I got this pair of shorts because I was nervous to like bend over or wear dresses and skirts out in public and like flash everybody. And honestly, honestly, I don't know how I feel because I like was expecting sort of more of like a bike short type of thing but it's very very thin and it has like, I don't know if you can see, it has like a crotch seam so like everything about this to me just kind of screams underwear either way but on its own, I wouldn't wear it. Under a skirt, I would recommend. Um, I got it in a nude so it could blend with all of my other stuff and honestly I'm not bad because it was like three bucks. The next thing that I got is this square neck button up top. The buttons are fake, they, I don't think they actually undo, but yeah. So actually this is kind of weird, like see how blue it is? On the website it said green, like on YesStyle, but I honestly don't mind it because I looked at the, like, the picture reviews and I did really like this color so I ordered it in green, but just in case you're expecting it to be green, it's very much not. I really like this shirt because it's ribbed, again like the ribbed materials are just very stretchy and like they're a safer option if you're going to shop online because you don't really know, especially with one size things like these. Um, the one complaint I have is that they're a little bit like, they're a little bit of an awkward length. Like you'll see in the try on clip when I wear them, it's too long to just be a crop top but it's too short to like tuck in so when I tuck it in it just kind of like comes out and I have to like zhuzh back in. Other than that, like if I'm just going to wear it as is, I think it's a really cute top. Yeah. Next item. Feel it when I hit the next thing that I got was this dress. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she gorgeous? I want to cry. It has a sweetheart neckline. I've seen these on a bunch of Instagram boutiques as well. I think this is a dupe of a different dress. But honestly, like, I'm not mad. It feels... I don't know if it's just me because I have scoliosis. So, like, one of my shoulders is higher up than the other. Consequentially, the right shoulder on this dress always falls down when I wear it. But I think that's just a me problem and not a problem with the dress. Another thing I will say is the material is definitely not what I was expecting. It feels kind of like a curtain of sorts. But it's not scratchy or uncomfortable whatsoever. It actually feels really light and airy. I went out on like a 30 degree summer day without a bra in this and I could actually get away with it, which I'm really, really happy about. I will say though, the flowers, I don't know if it shows up well on camera, like I don't know how well the color translates, but the flowers are a lot brighter than I was expecting. Not that I'm mad about it, I did several photo shoots in this dress and you can see on my Instagram. Self plug, even though there's lining, like it's a little bit see through still. So I would suggest wearing like a nude underwear, maybe a white one. But overall, very cute dress. Probably one of my favorite things I've gotten off this website. I'm obsessed. I love it. Next item. So the next thing that I got from YesStyle is this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just pulled everything out of the pile. This plaid i don't know like what kind of pattern this is but this like checkered dress i think i do have to do a little bit of alteration on this one i ordered it in a medium and like usually in yes style pants and dresses i do have to get a medium 
but for this one like the waist was super big so I do have to take it in I don't know how I'm gonna do that because there's a zipper on the side so I can't just like take it in on the side but I'll figure it out the material I won't say it's scratchy but it definitely feels like a tablecloth or like really really cheap bedding Honestly, I don't mind because it was like 15 bucks. Overall, I mean, the pattern's super cute. The color is like not how it was in the pictures, but I honestly don't mind because this is like kind of a deeper like brownish pink. Kind of like a brick red, but lighter. This part of the neckline, there's a drawstring. So you can tighten it and loosen it to make the neck deeper if you want to. Overall, I think it's a super cute dress for what you're getting. I won't say it's exactly how it is on the photos, so fair warning if you are going to order this one, the sizing is a little bit wonky as well. The next dress that I got from YesStyle was this square neck, just like a plain tank dress. I think it's a super cute basic. If you pair it with the right things, it will look very, very effortless but expensive. However, if you do look up close, I can't tell, like, I don't know if you can tell, but there's no, like, hemming on any of it. So, like, it kind of just looks like a raw cut all the way around the neckline. I don't mind it, I just feel like on the side when it sticks out like that, like it could be a little bit better made. But I mean for like 13 bucks, I'm not mad. It's a really cute olive green color, hugs the body very well. I will say the fabric is very very sturdy and thick, it's ribbed and stretchy as well, so for a one size it is a very versatile dress. Um, dress it up, dress it down, I think with the right accessories this will be a super super cute outfit. I rate 8 out of 10. The last item of clothing that I have to show you guys is this pair of cargo pants. You can see it better in the try on clip, but I think it's super cute. The waistband is very, very stretchy. I think it's from the brand Ever After, and when I got it, it was like, I think like 18 Canadian dollars for the pants, like, and the roller coaster belt kind of thing, the canvas belt. I think it's super cute. It rides up on my ankles a little bit, which is to be expected because it does cinch on the bottom, but I think it's a really, really flattering silhouette, and it's a really good item for when I want to go a little bit edgier than my normal style, when I want to stray away from vintage and go more like tech, modern. Oh my god, I'm really bad at explaining. But um, I think it's a super cute pair of pants with just like a basic crop top or like even a t-shirt tucked into it. The material isn't weird to me at all. It's exactly how I was expecting it to feel. They're not at all uncomfortable and I think like with a pair of black boots, they look really nice. That is all. The actual final item that I have, I don't physically have it with me, but maybe I'll insert a picture or do a try on clip when I can actually find it. I think it's in the wash right now. It's the same as my long sleeve white shirt or like almond shirt, the one that cinches on the bottom but it's a short sleeve black version. The difference between the short sleeve and the long sleeve one is that the short sleeve one is a little bit of a different material. I won't say it's scratchy but it is more t-shirt and it's a little bit less soft than the other one, not to say that it's rough. It's still very very comfortable. I like can wear it to work through a nine hour shift and like not have any complaints about it whatsoever. So I still really really like it. I think having a long sleeve and a short sleeve version of that top allows me to wear it through the entire year. That is all the clothing I have. Now on to jewelry, accessories, and skincare. So the one and only skincare item I have is actually something that YesSell so generously gifted to me and it is this. I don't know. Please focus. I'm doing the beauty guru thing where they put their hand behind the thing, but I don't think it'll focus. So it is the Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream from uh, iUnique. It has brightening and wrinkle care, and this is a 60 milliliter container, which will last you quite a long time. So this cream is very, very moisturizing. It's also unscented and not irritating whatsoever. Honestly, my skin doesn't really like react to new skincare products. When I change it, it just like gets one pimple, then it's like, okay, going back to normal. It's very, very hydrating and absorbs very fast, so it doesn't feel oily. It also helps to improve the skin barrier. So I made the mistake of using a, um, I used a clay mask, which was very, very harsh on my skin, and I used it a little bit too often. So I use this moisturizer to help, oh my god, I just had a stroke. I use this moisturizer to help kind of like rebuild the barrier that the clay mask kind of like broke down. I do think it's a very very good product and will last you a super long time. Close
Or the first jewelry item I have is actually the earrings that I'm wearing right now. Let me see if I can show you. There it is. Look how cute she is. So it is this kind of like organic shaped pearl with like a gold loop. I think it's really cute. Uh, recently, I've been a sucker for like organic jewelry shapes and I think this is a very very cute like classy everyday basic so I've been wearing these like literally every day and they haven't changed color or anything which I'm really really happy about my ears normally aren't that sensitive but this hasn't made me itchy like other earrings have that I got from like maybe Claire's or like H&M I feel like these earrings are very very comfortable I can keep them in all day and have no problem and they also do not discolor I highly highly recommend they're like less than three dollars so you're literally not losing anything I love them, I'm obsessed. Next. The next pair of earrings that I got are these little pearl hearts with gold on the back. I think they're super cute. They are a little bit, they were a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but I don't know, they make me feel so cute, guys. I love them. Aww. I'm really into like the combination of gold and pearls, and I think this is a very good cute little basic for when I want to be a little bit more extra than the other earrings that I will pop these on super cute very very easy to just up your basic fit I highly recommend um, they're not heavy at all but they're also like I don't know they're like just the right weight they don't feel heavy for the size that they are but they're a very like comfortable weight on my ears they don't pull it down um, they also don't discolor and they don't itch which I love because I cannot stand an itchy earring, I hate it. Next. So the one necklace that I got from YesStyle was this layered moon and stars pendant necklace. I think it's really cute, but I do wish that it came in like three separate necklaces instead of one necklace that clasps together in the back, even though I do think that it's really convenient because it like avoids the tangling in the back of your neck so I guess like to each their own I just wish I would be able to wear it separately but absolutely not the seller's fault they did disclose that it was one necklace on the site I believe this necklace was like three five dollars if I remember correctly I'll have the link in the description but um, the one complaint that I do have with this necklace and I was kind of expecting it because it was like for the price that it was, I knew that it was gonna discolor. I wore it a couple times while it was gold and then it became like this rusty, like brassy color. I still don't mind it that much, but it now doesn't match the rest of my gold jewelry. The next thing that I got is this strapless bra. I think it's super cute. Obviously I'm not gonna do like a separate try on clip because that would be way too promiscuous for YouTube, but it they have these cute little, like, I don't know if you can see, these cute little, rubber hearts at the back so that they don't slip off, which I think is super useful. There is a push-up thing. Um, my bra size is usually a 34A, so I got this in like, I believe an 85A, but there should be like a chart that you can follow on the bottom to like convert it to American sizing. It does have like a loop to adjust the strap to it if you wish to do so. So it's a very, very versatile bra. I wear this with like my tube tops, my off the shoulder tops, it never shows. Nude is a very easy color to pair because if you wear a dark shirt, it won't show. A light shirt, it won't show. You know what I mean? Um, it does do a very good job of holding the girlies up. Um, that being said, my girlies are not blessed. They are very much not big, so I cannot speak from that much experience of needing that much support, but I do think it's super nice that this doesn't like come off. It doesn't really leave that much extra room. I do have to pull it up every once in a while, but that may have just been me like ordering maybe the wrong size for myself. I don't know. I don't have that much bra experience, but I do think it's super nice and yeah, very much worth the money. It was like, what, $10? Where can you find a bra for $10? What the heck? The final, final thing that I have to show you is this belt. Just the faux leather black belt with these little accent loops, silver holes in them. I think it's super cute. Very much like edgy, out of my comfort zone, but I feel like when I wear funky pants, this kind of ups it a little bit. The loops are not spaced that far apart and they do go all the way down the belt, which I do think is really helpful because when I get a belt, a lot of the times I will need to poke extra holes in it. So I really appreciate that this belt has holes going all the way down it. That way I don't have to add any more. It also comes with this chain, which is super edgy and cool girl. Um, I don't know, I just feel like an e-girl when I have this on. Is that weird? I don't know, I like it. 
Um, it's also like a pretty good quality leather for like what? I think it was a $3 belt. Like I can bend it different directions and like it doesn't really crease that much. I think it's a really good quality for what you're paying for. And that is all. That's all I have. So with all that said, this brings us to the conclusion of our video. I hope you enjoyed. All of the links will be in the description if you see anything you like and want to order it for yourself. I do have a coupon code which I will leave right here again. I hope you enjoyed. I am sorry if I seemed a little bit off because it's my first time really really like sitting down and talking to a camera which usually makes me really nervous which is why I've been putting this video off for two months. But yeah, I think that's all. If you have any questions, I will do my best to reply. I do read absolutely every comment, so don't be too mean to me. Um, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you thought it was useful. And I guess that's all. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!